Welcome this week to the Skunk Juice Studio or Skunk Skunk Juice Flamingo Studio. You know, I was just thinking, do flamingos like make a sound like a bird or so? Hmm, I'll have to look that up. What What do you think? Anyway, we have with us today Fiona Flamingo. Fiona Flamingo. Let's meet her, shall we? Fiona Flamingo. On a beautiful sunny afternoon where life was simply the best, a little flamingo named Fiona hatched from her egg in a nest. Little Fiona grew up making lots of friends. They played flamingo games from day start to day's end. As the time passed, the birds all became stronger. They also got pinker and their feathers grew longer. They turned pinker and pinker and each feather they grew. They got bigger and bigger until some of them flew. Fiona remained featherless until it happened one night. She woke up with feathers, but they were bright white. <sighs> the other flamingos <gasps> gasped and they stared at her in shock. They couldn't believe what they were seeing and wildly began to squawk. I guess that's my answer, flamingo squawk. Hmm. Her friends looked at the white feathers, not knowing what to think. You're, you're not the right color. Flamingos are supposed to be pink. <sighs> See their friends all pink and flamingo, was it? With everyone shouting, Fiona began to get scared. She looked at her feathers and then she looked at theirs. You don't have to be so loud and please don't make a scene. That's when Fiona started shaking and her feathers turned green. When her friends saw the change, they squawked louder and meaner. Fiona got more anxious and her feathers grew greener. Oh my, oh Fiona. Uh, her friends looked at their green feathers, not knowing what to think. Stop being so silly, Fiona. Flamingos are supposed to be pink. Oh no, said Fiona. This is worse than just bad. But her friends kept on squawking and then Fiona got mad. You're making me angry. She jumped and furiously sad. That's when Fiona started yelling and her feathers turned red. Oh my, the flock became silent, hoping things would get better. But Fiona got madder and her feathers grew redder. Her friends looked at the red feathers, not knowing what to think. Don't you think you should calm down now? Flamingos are supposed to be pink. Oh, Fiona. 
They all rushed to hug her, and now Fiona felt bad. Her anger was fading, but now she felt sad. She whimpered and cried, I'm all mixed up in hue. That's when Fiona started sobbing and her feathers turned blue. Oh my goodness. The flock watched from afar and their concerns grew truer, but Fiona just got sadder and her feathers grew bluer. Her friends looked at the blue feathers, not knowing what to think. Just what kind of bird are you? Flamingos are supposed to be pink. No one could cheer her up, so instead they stayed away. That's when Fiona got lonely and her feathers turned gray. A young chick floated up with a gaze so pure and true. I hope my feathers change colors when I'm as big as you. Fiona flashed a happy smile and her feathers erupted in color. It was a surprise to everyone. No feather was like any other. Pink, white, and green, red, blue, and gray. She was every single color now, and that's the way she stayed. The entire flock gathered around, and Fiona gave a big wink. I guess we've all learned a lesson here. Flamingos don't have to be pink. You can be anything you want to be. The end. Isn't that awesome? I love Fiona. Fiona Flamingo. You don't have to do it. You be it. Okay? Thanks for joining me this week. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Rest of your week. And what do even flamingos do? Even if they're not pink, we sprinkle that kindness, okay? I will see you next time.